I'm Lou, I'm on holiday in Prague and I'm going to try and keep some of my fitness that I've been working hard on since coming back from injury. I'm lucky enough my hotel has a gym. Now I got a little bit excited when I saw that there is in fact a bike, but it doesn't turn on, it doesn't work. So there is no point in using it because there's no resistance at all, so my legs would just be spinning around like crazy. There is one of those stepper type machines, so I'm going to use that first. So this is going to be a little hotel workout. I'm going to do 20 minutes of cardio, then some exercises. My coach, Michelle, has set me some stuff to do. First thing is cardio. So I'd recommend about 20 minutes, get your heart pumping. Um, if you've got a heart rate monitor, brilliant. A lot of people now wear sports watches and stuff like that with heart rate monitor on it, or you can wear a chest strap. Um, I'm going to aim for between 70 and 80% of my max heart rate. As a guide, now I'm not a doctor, so don't start doing this without having any other medical advice. As a guide, your max heart rate is 220 beats per minute minus your age. And then I'm going to work between 70 and 80% of that. So I'm looking at about 140 beats a minute. So I know at that kind of heart rate, I'll be getting warm, maybe starting to sweat a little bit, certainly breathing a bit heavier and burning some fat. So. Okay, that's some cardio done. My heart rate did go quite high through a bit of that, mostly anxiety, because this machine started moving. It started off straight, then a couple of bits fell off it, and then I noticed that it was manoeuvring across the, the floor, and then as I was pushing this, it started hitting against the wall. So that wasn't ideal. If you are in a hotel with any form of gym, it has to be better than this and if you're in a hotel with a gym worse than this then good luck to you so you can get your cardio done just by doing jumping jacks or something like that it doesn't matter you just need to get your heart pumping if you can go out for a run great I just can't run because of my dodgy hip so I chose to use this <laughs> that is literally falling apart so I'm now going to move on and do some strength exercises my coach, Michelle, has sent me some videos, so I'm gonna pop a couple of those in so you can see the proper technique of how to do this. You don't need to see me messing around <laughs> doing them. So here's the intro from Michelle first. Coach Michelle here. I've got your back covered. You are on holiday with no bike, but you've told me that there's a little gym. So I've decided to set you a few little exercises to do. Now, the amount of reps you do, you always need to have recovery. So do your reps, have a 30 second, even to a minute break, and go back and do them again. Let's start off with 10 of each, but you might find that that's maybe a little bit too much, or maybe you find that's not enough. So do it to the point where you get to fatigue. Reverse lunges. Right, the reason I'm doing this, lots of hip stability, lots of power coming through that quad as you power your way out of it again. Right, let me show you. So Lou, Standing nice and tall. Hip back, reverse lunge, come back up. And I want you to power back up, feeling in the glutes. Did you see my dog? There you go. Power it back up, reverse lunge, power it back up. If that feels a little bit too easy and you're feeling quite stable in your hips, grab yourself a weight. Okay, again, hold it at your chest and power back up. Go back, power back up. Okay, there you go. You're going to feel this in your quads, in your glutes, and it's going to help you get nice and stable around those glute muscles at the top of your bum. Always good to work those. Okay, so I'm going with my reverse lunges first. Much less stable on my injured side as I do the reverse lunges. So that's good, working on that strength. Okay, cool, kettlebell swings. So if you don't have a kettlebell, grab one of the dumbbells and I want you to just swing. This is all about the hips, okay? A little bit of hip action. Oh, we can do that, okay? From the side, Lou. Let's go, get a little bit of hip action going there. That's it. See, nice and easy. Do actually have some in this gym. What? I 
forgot to breathe. <laughs> Next up, Michelle sent me some squats to do. If they're too easy, I can add weights, but I haven't started adding weights again since I'm building back from my injury. So I'm just gonna do some standard squats and control the whole movement up and down. So I'm gonna do sets of 10. I'm gonna try and do three of those. Remembering to breathe. The more stable you are in your core, the more power you can produce through your legs. So get into your side plank position on your elbow, straighten those legs. Let's lift up. Right, let's hold that. There you go. 30 seconds. As you can, when it starts burning, stop. And then switch over to the other side. You can have your hand in front of you, you can have your leg in front of you, hand on your hips. Right. Hold it there. Okay, let's go with this side plank. We all know what sit-ups look like. So, keep your feet on the floor, bend your knees, hands behind your head, and up you come. Nice and controlled, nice and slowly. If that's hard, put your hands here. So you can do it all the way up, or just ones at the top, little crunches. So I'm gonna do a few of those. Feeling pretty toasty, this gym is boiling. Come and look why it's so hot in here. In the middle of the room is an actual sauna. <laughs> oh my, boiling. Okay, I'm gonna let Michelle introduce the last exercise. Let's do some jump squat. These are fantastic, explosive power. But what we're gonna do is jump like that. There you go. And really power up as you come down into a squat. Okay, watch that hip, watch those knees. So that's all my exercises done. I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching. I've got some tightness in my injured hip. Um, so I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. And then I've got some rather special recovery plans. So we're on the way for some recovery. We're gonna try and get lucky on this bridge. <laughs> okay. So what better way to recover in Prague than to come to a beer spa? We're in some, what room are we in now, Rob? Tepidarium. Tepidarium, yeah. some salt thing over there before we hit the beer tub. <laughs> so we're in the beer spa now, which is basically a tub of beer with beer on tap. Cheers. And sausage. Does it get much better than this? <laughs> so that was a lovely experience here at the Beer Spa in Prague. I actually feel pretty sleepy now. <laughs> Very relaxing. So I hope you enjoyed this video on my hotel workout and recovery please drop me a comment if you enjoyed it or if you've been to Prague before and have experienced some of this stuff please like please subscribe and I'll see you soon